Mr. Savage was finally able to compete in the World Cup, no longer held back by his age. And he didn't just compete. The recently signed prodigy proved that he is one of the best Fortnite players in Europe. And he proved it quickly, too. He may not have qualified in week one solos, but he qualified for duos the next week, placing first with Benji Fishy. Then Mr. Savage, who is only 15 years old, qualified in solos week five, placing fourth. So how did he do it? Hey, my name is Dave, and this is another pro analysis for pro guides. If you want to make your own skilled plays and win some battle royales, check out our courses on ProGuides.com. All right, let's start with Mr. Savage's key skills. He's just mechanically insane at Fortnite. You can see here, Savage is low on HP and is being pushed by a player aggressively. He has a slurp running and is trying to buy himself time to use a big pot, but the other player isn't giving him a chance. With his quick edits, Savage positions himself away from the enemy every time and doesn't even give the guy a chance to shoot him, not even once. Savage now realizes he's out of mats, but he still has to make a play. So he edits back down away from the enemy, baiting him into the old builds. Savage drops down going for a shot, but he quickly edits his pyramid into a ramp to protect himself. As it breaks from the enemy's shot, Savage finally goes for the final pump to get a flawless elimination. As you can see, it's not only mechanical skills that make Savage so consistent. The dude also is insane with his edits, even in tough situations. Savage has no shotgun, so he has to play this extremely smart. He builds and edits away from the enemy. Then he edits open for some shots when he sees the enemy swinging at his walls. Savage also places a campfire in the middle of all this. Savage gets a tag and makes sure to turn his pyramid into a ramp. That way, when the enemy breaks into his one by one, he has to also break through the ramp. Savage does a fake out as if he was building for height here. Then, he quickly resets his wall, opens it back up for another tag, and goes back into his builds, dropping onto the guy and going for the kill. Now let's see how Savage lives up to his brains with some 200 IQ plays. Mr. Savage is almost in zone, in shadow form, and sees enemies fighting. He quickly boxes up and starts using his grenade launcher, grabbing an elimination. At this point, Savage is the closest player to the zone, so he holds players out and stays on mid-ground, pushing the low-ground players with his grenade launcher. The zone is now moving up, so Savage has to contest for height with a player that's peeking from low-ground. Savage takes the quick 50-50 with the enemy on low-ground, grabbing another elimination. Mr. Savage is in a 1v1 situation with shadow bombs, with the zone going up the mountain. Seeing how desperate the other player is to shoot and not build, Savage realizes his opponent has no mats. He jumps up the mountain in shadow form, since shadow bombs don't run out until you stop jumping. Savage gets to the top of the hill and sets himself up in a quick 1x1, one one, and places a campfire to secure the win and a spot in the World Cup for solos. Fortnite is an extremely fast-paced game, especially Endgame, so you have to think quick. Let's show another clip of how Savage uses his heavy sniper to get him eliminations in Endgame. You can see Savage editing out of his one by one. He sees an enemy with a metal base with no pyramid on his floor. Big mistake. Now let's watch how Savage quickly reads this situation. Savage has a sniper, which one-shots enemies builds, no matter what material. So he quickly places a wall and a trap. 
Then, Savage shoots the floor and drops the enemy onto the trap, securing a quick elimination. Mr. Savage shoots a grenade launcher onto his stairs. Then he rotates it so it can drop to low ground. That's where the enemy is. Savage can see the enemy while editing, allowing him to confirm his positioning. Then he finishes the edit, dropping the grenade launcher to get another easy kill. Box fighting is one of Savage's strongest skills as well. You'll see that here. Savage hears an enemy below him, so he crouches to minimize his footstep sounds. He then drops and shoots the RPG against the wall to get 121 tag on the guy. Mind games are extremely important in box fighting. Watch how Savage dominates this fight with just brains. He runs up and hits both walls to make them one shot. Then he finishes off the left wall. And as the guy is paying attention to that wall, Savage gets the wall on the right. The enemy edits down quickly and Savage hits the floor with his pickaxe to make sure it's one hit. Then he goes and hits the wall at the front. He finishes the fight off clean by running over to finish the one hit floor, placing his own editing. Not only has Mr. Savage dominated in the World Cup, he also recently won the Fortnite Friday event with his duo partner Benji Fishy. Savage had to face off against Ninja and Reverse 2K in the loser bracket finals with an overtime match due to a tie in the second match. They win the series and go on to face Camo and Issa from Ghost Gaming in the grand finals. Watch how Savage makes a fool out of these players, completely destroying them. He edits out and instantly puts a pyramid and walls all around. Then he puts a trap down and breaks the stairs so the opponent has no choice but to stay in his box. Savage edits his pyramid to see the enemy run on top. And as soon as he sees the jump animation, he opens the pyramid to surprise the enemy, pumping him for the elimination. Benji goes down here while Savage clutches up the game with the last couple of eliminations. Watch how Savage grenade launchers the builds and places his stair so he doesn't take explode damage. Then, Savage edits open so that there's only a floor left to destroy, which leaves the enemies exposed for his finishing play. Savage and Benji finish off the Fortnite Friday Grand Finals with some incredible teamwork. They're currently tied and have to get one more kill to win the tournament. So they play it safe, planning how they're going to attack the last remaining player near them. Both are low health, so they box next to each other, waiting to get their shield back up to 50 with shield potions. You can hear Benji call out that he's ready now, and they push. Both of them corner the enemy and force him to push Benji. In response, Benji edits down. He already has the wall, so he edits it and opens it for a quick shot, securing their last elimination and winning them the grand finals of Fortnite Friday. And that's just what makes Mr. Savage so good. If you love these and want to check out some more pro guides, always go to proguides.com. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and comment. And as always, thanks for watching.